Hello there everyone, Nicolini here bringing you a tutorial on how to install the Winds of Change character portrait mod that we uh, showed off quite a while ago. I figure it'd be good to have a video guide to show you how to do this, even though there's a readme included in the download, I think it's just good to have that anyways so you can be, um, just in case you mess up or you just want to see it visually some people are just better at visual so let's get started with this so i got the video pulled up here this is the original video that shows off you know all the different portraits about the different characters look at that that looks cool so we're going to scroll down here if you want to grab the mod check it out here by the way this link will also be in the description for this video so you can grab the uh, link from there as well and then click on that which will take us to the dropbox that the mod is safe to if by any, by forever reason this disappears, it goes away or you can't get to it, let me know. I'll just leave a comment and we'll get to fixing that. So you want to take both of those and then you're going to click download. There we go. Now we're going to go to our download folder in the computer and we can see it there. I was trying to play around with it earlier so that's why you see that there. So we're going to go ahead and cut. You can also use Control X or right click and use cut or whatever your operating system's method to cut. Use that. I'll get you going with that. So what you're going to do next is let's go to this computer. There's different ways of doing that on here. Ah, this PC. There we go. I always get lost sometimes with this. So you're going to go here. Then we're going to go to local disk C. Then we are going to go to program files x86. Then we are going to go to Steam. Then we are going to go to Steam Apps. Then we're going to go to Common. And finally, we're going to scroll down and go to Winds of Change. This is the default install directory for Winds of Change uh, if you're running on PC. Pretty much you just want to go to wherever that is installed on your computer. All right, now that we're in here, we want to go to Lib. Not lib. I always always get lost sometimes. We want to go to game, and then you want to go to images, and now you can see all the images that are in the game. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So before we uh, run into something that we shouldn't see, we're gonna go to faces, and now we can see all of the portraits in the game. So remember how we cut that folder, that file? What we're gonna do is we're gonna paste. And for Windows users, you can use Control V, or you can pop up that little menu and hit paste. It's ghost white now because I already pasted it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to create a, uh, a folder that has all of these. Now, I thought these were supposed to be actually the original, but it says copy for some reason. Um, normally, this would just be named actor1 underscore zero dot png. I don't know why that copy is there, but... Um, just just pretend it just says it doesn't say copy just pretend it just says the normal thing so what we're going to do is we're going to go new and we're going to make a folder now why am i making a folder i'm making a folder to back up all of these we're going to name this old faces whenever you're modifying anything on your computer installing mods whatever always have a backup just in case let's say something happens with the portrait mod it doesn't work it creates a problem something goes on and you need those old images back by having a backup you can do that um so there you go. So now we got this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this. I use 7-Zip personally myself, but let's just say you don't have 7-Zip. Let's say you just say you're your normal Windows user and you don't have any of that crazy stuff. So we're gonna click Extract All. And let's say to have the extracted file shown when complete. Okay, Extract. And there you go. Pops open a map. Oh, I guess it, I guess it, that's right, we downloaded them as a duo. Okay, so we're gonna extract that as well. Yeah, zip folders can be a little weird like that sometimes. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And now we can see it working. It's doing its thing. All right, now we can see all of the ones with the frames. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hold down, we're gonna click on just any random image, hold down control and push A. That will highlight everything in here. Now you're going to hold down CTRL again, and we're going to cut. They all turn ghost white. Now we're going to go back to our faces folder, 
Hold down CTRL, push V. But ding That's it! You did it! You have installed the mod. Very simple. Now if you want to test to make sure it works, it's very simple. Let's open up Steam and go to our library. So we're going to go to Steam, we're going to go to the library, we're going to go to Winds of Change, and we're going to hit play. And we're going to let, we're going to wait for the game to launch. The reason why we're opening the game is just to make sure that it actually installed. You don't want to go through all the trouble, open up the game, and start recording your gameplay video only to find that, whoa, oh, it's not done properly. So, all right, so we got Winds of Change up and running here. So let's go ahead and go to continue. Let's just click on a random save file. And look at that. That is proof positive that the mod has installed, as you can see, everybody's face covered by that little frame. And that is, that's it. You did it. You have installed the mod. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this so you don't hear that playing through the speakers. So there you go. Um, Winds of Change is a very modifiable game. The engine that's being used, it's a mixture of RPG Maker and RenP. All it does is it just reads for these files. That's why if like this says actor 1-0 8, uh, if the game goes to load Valessa's little face here, the game will complain that it can't find it and you won't be able to play the game. The graphics will be off. You may, if you watch Drazzle's Let's Play series, this actually happened to him because he was screwing around with the image files and accidentally copied something or removed something. So you can easily you can easily change images like that. Like let's say you want it um, to switch out something. Like maybe you want it to uh, maybe you want it to I don't know, maybe you want to brighten up the credits pictures. Then you can just simply go to those, edit them, and then replace that. Or if you want to replace the title screen, you could do that. All you gotta do is just go to the right image replace it with an image of your own choosing and bada bing bada boom there you go but that's about it um there is another mod that we had installed which is the music mod um we'll be throwing together a download for that so we can get you going with that if you're interested in having the echo reverb music now but that's about it have fun with uh new frames and if you want to do your own frames very simple just make sure you edit them in a you know you gotta use an image editing software uh, like something like GIMP or Adobe Photoshop and make sure you keep the dimensions the same so you do got to keep it in that nice uh, how big are these again you got to make sure you keep it as a 144 by 144 I think you can actually do it bigger than that but that will keep it like in the same area you could replace them like one person actually use larger pictures of the characters but yeah all you do again is like let's say you wanted a version of that where it's brighter or uses different colors or whatever maybe it has a uh, rustic look or whatever just replace it with your own actor one underscore zero with your own that's pretty much it thank you for listening to my yammering and for us to take way more than we need to to explain how to install something but you know there may be people of all different skill levels trying to figure out how to do this so i thought i would go a little bit more slower than um than i would if that was making this for people who are like knew their way around a computer so that's all i got for you thank you for all watching and catch you around Jojo. <laughs> Resto fermo, chiudo nel fato, nel gioiello che ci sopprime, mantenendo i sogni schiavi tu. Non c'è luogo in cui non so restare.